Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to Thursday's Thoughts. Just had a guy driving by slow right now. I don't know. I really don't like when people creep by and just stare. I have nothing to be worried about or paranoid about, but either way, I don't know. Just kind of weird. I don't know. I mean, it is 6.40 in the morning. Maybe he just woke up. Maybe he's on his way somewhere. I don't know. But to kind of creep by slow and just kind of stare, I don't know. Odd. Very odd. So... Getting a little bit of rain, some sprinkles here and there. I, uh... Seems like we're getting April showers a little late because it's May, obviously. Um, I don't know. Some of my flowers are starting to come out. So, I, uh, my rose bush is pretty lush. A lot of foliage, a lot of uh, flowers starting to form, pods, whatever you want to call it. Um, same thing with my blackberry, uh, with my blackberry vine. It it's going to have a load of flowers on there. I may even have to get another, uh, have to get a lattice before the end of summer. Just, uh, it's, I am, I have a film once it definitely gets hot, it's really going to take off even more, even more so. Um, yeah, I got the last of what I need planted for now until I have to transplant the tomatoes. Um, uh, Definitely looking forward to that, and oh, a little nervous, you know, because I don't, I don't know what to expect. I mean, I have a lot of, uh, quite a few of them in like a big pot, so I'm thinning them out. I'm just wondering if I should thin it out. The ones I'm going to keep. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> if I should. Uh, pull up and put into a little smaller pot until they get to a pretty good size then transplant it obviously um I don't know I don't know yet the uh sunflowers um 90 something percent of them are doing very good there's only one that really didn't germinate um of the American Giant Hybrid uh the moonshine ones uh there might have been one or two stragglers so one I, I don't know if it's gonna make it uh, there's another, uh, type that I had planted. I can't remember what it's called now, but it's supposed to be like a reddish sunflower. So I'm hoping those will definitely do what they need to do. Um, you know, like I said, things were growing for a couple, quite a few days, you know, just cause the weather's been up to seventies, eighties, even got to the nineties and now we're back down to the fifties. So <laughs> Uh, probably in the 60s today, I would imagine. Um, little cool, overcast, sprinkling. But, um, but anyway, um, work-wise, I'm going to, apparently, my meat manager is going to be going on vacation uh, late June, early July. So, he's going to need to train me on everything that I'm going to need to know. I mean, I, for the most part, Mondays, yeah, you know, I, I don't, I'm not trying to punk out or anything, but I just feel like I don't want to, I don't want to be in charge. I don't, I really don't. I don't think I do. I don't know. I mean, I definitely appreciate and am grateful for the opportunity to be able to, I want to say help run the meat department on Mondays. Everybody else wants me to be in charge. So, I mean, I definitely appreciate the sentiment and I appreciate the fact that they can trust me, that he can uh, trust me to be able to do a good job. And I mean, I'm not going to overlook that trust. Um, I just, am I a little nervous? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, of course, you know, two weeks, <laughs> two weeks and, you know, I'll do my absolute best and anything 
that I don't know how to do. I mean, I'll uh, hopefully that's I mean what, what I'll obviously get trained for, and I'm hoping that I, you know, I know that I could always talk to management that is still there and everything and get their advice or you know a lot of them have experience with ordering have experience with you know scheduling a lot of things like that um but anyway i don't know this weekend i'm gonna definitely spend it with family my uh wife and son i don't know I, we may do something on sunday my son, he's supposed to be taking off for a few days to go on a camp out with his school. So uh, it's almost like a family tradition. My father went back in the 60s. Uh, you know, I went back in the 90s. So um, my brother, I'm sure my cousins, you know, we all went to the same camp. And everything so it's a sixth grade thing so uh, oh man and then uh, we may have found a place for my mom she's kind of working on the kinks and working on things here and there just trying to get things done um, Trying not to sit on stuff. Trying to not play the game of hurry up and wait. Sometimes it's hard though. Uh, especially, especially you know, when you're having to deal with other things. But, um, I, you know, I, the, you know, I'm starting to take after more of how my wife is in the way of, you know, getting things done. Not sitting on things, you know, getting things done. Um... So that way, if something does come up, something does arise, you know, because not everything goes according to plan, but at least if you're prepared, if you've crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's, I mean, it doesn't guarantee you success, but at least if something does arise, you'll be able to deal with it accordingly. And, you know, that you'll set yourself up in a way for success. It may not be a total success, but at least you'll be prepared, you know, and the longer her and I have been married, I notice that I'm taking more after that. And to me, that's not a bad thing. It's not a character flaw. Um, it's always good to be prepared. Always. And uh, like I said, just because you're prepared don't mean that you're not going to run into some speed bumps along the way. Just go slow over them speed bumps. Anyway. Definitely. Definitely don't sit on stuff. Don't wait. I mean, yeah, there may be times where you have to wait, just depending. I mean, you just gotta, you know, use, honestly, your life experience. Because if you do the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, what is that? That's a definition of insanity. So... But all right, guys, I had better go. Better make tracks. I've got to go clock in here shortly. All right, guys, take care. See you on the next video. Bye.